Hi, this is Dr. Goldner from GoodbyeLupus.com, and I get this question all the time. I'm sick with autoimmune disease like lupus or rheumatoid arthritis or scleroderma or mixed connective tissue disease, and I want to do your program, but I'm afraid of losing too much weight. So I want to address this because I get this question almost every single day. And now while most people are overweight and happy to lose weight, there are some who are worried about this. So let me explain this to you in three separate points. First of all, if you are on my hypernourishment program and you're trying to follow rapid recovery and you are losing body weight to the point that you've gone under a BMI of 17, then you are losing too much weight. And the answer to that is you need to eat more. Most people aren't used to eating enough. You know, when you eat a meat-based diet, you tend to be more full. Meat sits in your stomach and putrefies and rots and keeps you full longer. When you switch to a plant-based diet or even a raw plant-based diet, then you're going to need to eat more often. You want to eat throughout the day and stay full throughout the day. And when you're using food as medicine, the only way to increase the dose is by eating more. So make sure you're eating enough all day long. And if you don't know what hypernourishment is or my rapid recovery program is, I teach it all for free. Just click on the link and learn more about how to do that. If you're on Instagram, it's my profile link. Otherwise, there's a link right next to this video. You can learn it for free so you can understand what to do. So if you're really losing too much weight, then make sure that you eat more. Now, the second thing that happens most often is that people did lose weight using rapid recovery, but they're now at a healthy weight. They were used to being bigger and fuller, but it wasn't actually healthy for them. Listen, today in the United States, over 60% of people are overweight. So our eyes are used to seeing people overweight on the regular, and we're not used to seeing what a healthy weight looks like. As an example, somebody recently sent me a message that I did an appointment with, and she was able to eliminate the lupus in her skin and was feeling fantastic, but she wrote to me because she was worried that she could see her collarbones and she thought that meant she was too skinny. Listen, everybody, you're supposed to be able to see your collarbones. If you can't see your collarbones, you actually have too much body fat. If you want to create a nice round booty, create it in the gym doing deadlifts and squats, not by eating processed carbohydrates, okay? So it's really important to understand that your healthy weight is going to be your weight when you're healthy. And if you're unhealthy, then you don't know what your healthy weight's going to be. So you have to nourish yourself fully and let your body do what it's going to do. I have never had somebody just disappear. I have been lupus free for 14 years on this plan. I've been helping people for the past decade. And yes, their body fat goes down, but they get healthy, which means their healthy weight is a lower weight, okay? So if your BMI is down to 18 or even 17 and you stay there and you're feeling fantastic, guess what? That is your healthy weight. So it's time to get used to seeing people at a healthier weight, which is going to be lower body fat, okay? And as long as your symptoms are getting better, you are on track, you're getting healthier, you can trust that. Now, it's also important to understand that low weight is not usually a disease, it's a symptom and you don't want to treat symptoms, you want to treat the disease causing the symptom. So an example I can give you is there was somebody who was losing massive amounts of weight because he had uncontrolled diabetes and they didn't know it. So his wife saw him losing weight and started making him cakes all day long, which of course made him worse because it made his blood sugar higher. Well, it's the same thing with autoimmune disease and other chronic illnesses. If weight loss was a symptom of the disease, you don't treat the weight loss, you treat the disease. So there are some people who come to me who are very frail because because of autoimmune disease. Someone I just did four weeks of rapid recovery with was 85 pounds when she started with me at five foot nine. Now that is way too small, but it was because of her disease. And when she started doing rapid recovery with me, eating all raw plant-based foods, her weight quickly went up to 89 pounds within just a few days because she was getting healthier. So it doesn't matter that it's raw foods or plant-based foods. When your body gets healthier, it will go to a healthy weight, whether that means weight loss for most people or weight gain for those who are really frail from the disease itself. So I hope that clears it up for you. You do not have to worry about losing too much weight during hypernourishment. Your body will heal itself and get to a healthy weight. You just have to make sure you are eating enough. And again, if you don't know how to do this protocol, I teach it 100% for free as a public service. Right now it's available to you. So make sure you click the link so that you can learn my program and start working on it on your own. Now, if you already know that you're one of those people that's going to need more help, I do work with people directly. You can go to goodbyelupus.com and click on work with Dr. G. And I can do a private appointment with you where we can go over everything and I make a plan for you. Or if you already know you're gonna need help every day to get better as quickly as possible, there's my six week rapid recovery group. And the next one that's starting in January as of 
the time of this video only has a few spots left. There were five last time I checked today. So if you know that's something you want to do, make sure you jump on it because that group always, always sells out. So I hope that helps you start to really understand more about weight and rapid recovery and hypernourishment. And I hope that you do what it takes to start eating to heal so that you can have the best health possible and your healthy weight will happen when you're healthy. Have an amazing 2020. I'll see you next time.